Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at the four inner moons. When we talk about the moons of Jupiter, we typically don't talk about the inner four, we talk about the four large moons. But let's take a look at the four inner moons before we start venturing out to the, more, the larger and the more interesting moons. Well, the four moons we're dealing with are Metis, Adrasteia, Amalthea, and Thebe, and they're all within about two to three times the radius of Jupiter. Not quite, twice, is a little bit less than twice, and this is about three times the radius of Jupiter, so they're all very, very close. Because of that, they orbit the planet in a very short amount of time. Matter of fact, the two inner moons, Methus and Andrasteia, they travel around the planet faster than the planet rotates. So if you take a point on the planet and you follow the rotation of the planet, the moons would actually travel faster than that. So the moons would actually get ahead of the viewpoint of where you're at. That's quite interesting. The other two moons are far enough away that they actually fall a little bit behind. Kind of like our Earth's moon falls behind the rotational speed of the Earth. By a whole lot, of course. Notice that the eccentricity of the inner three moons is very, very tiny, which means that they're virtually in circular orbits. Not quite circular, no object is actually in a circular orbit, but they are actually very close. 0 0.002, that's only two one hundredths of a percent off from being a perfect circular orbit. The outermost of the four planets, Thebe, it is relatively similar to the eccentricity of the Earth, so there's quite a bit of difference between the farthest point and the closest point in its orbit. Notice that the orbital speed, because they are so close to the planet and the planet is so humongous, they must be moving quite fast. Actually, the two inner planets move faster around Jupiter than the Earth moves around the Sun, which is quite amazing, at 31.5 and about 31.4 kilometers per second, which is absolutely phenomenal. If you look at the dimensions of the four moons, notice that none of them are given a radius. They all are kind of odd shaped, which means that they are asteroids, probably asteroids captured by the gravitational force of the moon. We have about 80 known moons around Jupiter, and only four of those are what we would call real moons that formed in the very same way as the planets were formed going around the sun. Here you can see that this is a remnant left over from the f formation of the solar system, and the dimensions indicate that it's very oddly shaped. It's got all kinds of craters, there's no real radius to be named, although we could, what we call, calculate in average radius to give us a little bit of a feeling of how large these objects are. So they're all essentially medium-sized um, medium asteroids. The big one is quite big, that would be Amalthea, it has an average radius of 83.5 kilometers, which gives us a total surface area of more than 2 million kilometers. So it's actually a fairly large object. And it has a volume of over 2 million cubic kilometers, as opposed to the smallest one has an average radius of 8.2 kilometers, and actually, yeah, 8.2 kilometers, with an area of only 2,300 kilometers. Now, 2,300 kilometers, Let's see here, 20 by 20 is 430, that's about, yeah, that's roughly 50 by 50 kilometers. So it's a fairly, it would be the size of a very, very large city, for example. And so there's a fair amount of surface area. Now, I wouldn't try to go there and land on it. It would be very difficult to land on it. It would be very difficult to walk on it because it's so small that the, the force of gravity is so weak, you could probably jump up 100 meters away from the surface without even trying. And so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to explore that on foot. Uh, also notice that the temperature is very nearly the same as the temperature you'll find on Jupiter, the surface temperature, about 123, 122, 120, 124. Uh, uh, that would be Kelvin degrees. But notice on Amalthea, you have temperatures ranging from 120 to 165. And that may be due to the size. When it receives enough sunlight, the surface temperature may heat up. And then when it gets colder again, as, as the surface moves away from uh, pointing towards the sun, then it cools down again. So that's probably the reason for the temperature variation. We probably have a similar kind of thing for the other ones, but we haven't been able to measure that properly. That's probably the, why we don't have a range for the other three. So again, there's always more information to be gathered, more understanding to be had. 
but simply again by looking at this information you're realizing that these are simply asteroids captured by uh, Jupiter as are the other 72 smaller moons these four though however are much larger than the typical small moons that were captured that are further out away from the the surface of the planet we'll get into those as well uh, but they're very much smaller and very cl much closer to the planet as compared to the four large moons that we're going to be talking about next so at least that gives you some idea of some of the statistics of the four inner moons